Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 15 of my let's play of Momus Quest's Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Today we're going to be visiting the Succubus Village. No, we did that already. The Noble Women's Village. So, this place feels like it's got a celeb bunch of celebrities in it. Yeah, this is the Noble Women's Village. A place for high class women to relax and take it easy, refresh their spirit and all. At least that's the public declaration of the place. But in truth, it's a gathering of monsters. Furthermore, they have a tendency to eat men that visit the town. They're pretty nasty. Hmm, as regards this request from King Grangold, this village's ruler is shut up in her ma in her mansion, right? Yes, the ruler, Cassandra, is a high-level monster. So, it's hard to believe this would happen. We did hear the rumor that she was beaten up by Alice Fees the 17th. Perhaps because her wounds were from the battle were heavy, or perhaps because her pride was broken. She shut herself up in her mansion. But anyway, let's go to there and confirm it. Alright, here we are. This is Cassandra's mansion. Now oh, please turn back. The mistress won't be meeting with anyone. Well, that may be the case, but we need to come in. We need to get a grip on what's going on here, so we need to meet her. Well, if it's coming down to force, it can't be helped. In that case, why don't you become my food? Cute? Cute! Cute cute! Man, you startled Nuruko. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I've been defeated. Cassandra, please forgive me. Alright then, shut up and let us pass. We need to confirm what's going on here. It's the King's request. No, I won't. No matter what happens, even if I have to die to do it. From inside the boy mansion, Cassandra's voice. I do not mind, Ram. Let those people pass. Oh, mistress. Is that really alright? Another voice. Mother said it is okay. Come on, let those people into the mansion. Okay. The mistress says it's alright to meet you. Please come on in. Well, don't know how this came about. But... She seems to want to meet us now. But she might be plotting something. Be careful. You got it. Cassandra says, Oh, you're Alice Fees the 16th, right? That's a pretty pathetic state you're in. The other one, Emily, says it's interesting. A former owl reduces such a state. Yeah. Mao Alisvis. How pathetic. He he he. Ha ha ha. Mother. I'd like to keep her as a pet. May I put her in a bird cage? Oh, you bastards. Gotta be high level. Hmm, or not. So, what happened to you there? Hee hee hee. Looks lovely. Ha <laughs> ha. What about you guys? What the hell happened to you? And now we're reduced to 
taking two blobs of whatever seriously. Well, it wasn't far. We didn't have much dignity to begin with, did we? In any case. So, after she was defeated by Alice Fees the 17th, well, you already knew that that happened. Right. Alice F the 17th is running around being crazy. We heard the rumor in the fort. Wait, we did? Okay, let's say we actually heard the rumor. So, following that defeat, you were reduced to that state, is that it? No. At the time, I was deeply wounded, but... If I had just stayed in my mansion for a while and recuperated, it wouldn't have been a problem. Then something else came. Oh, just remembering it makes me so angry. Seething with anger. Seething! Whatever part of her is capable of seething, it's doing it. Anyway. Mother, calm down. In Mother's place, I'll explain here. So, in her weakened state, there's a certain monster that fomented a rebellion in town. She lived in the town and was second to her mother in terms of strength. This is the Queen of Candies, Candy. So, she stole her mother's power and her power and reduced us to these form, these forms. Hmm, Queen of Candies, Candy. She's actually pretty famous as a monster. So, she was hiding away in this village, huh? Oh, she... She changed our energy into candies. And she took a bunch of the village people with her and left the village. Grr. Yes, Mother is simply seething, is simply boiling over about it. So, after she took our power, she took a close-by mountain as her base. Since many of the monsters from this village are obeying her now, she's kind of the boss of the mountain at this point. So, would you be so kind as to take back from Candy our power? Of course, we will be glad to thank you. Well, isn't this just a power struggle between monsters? Basically. It's not exactly something for us to be, get involved in. Ah. There is a rumor that Candy has been entertaining advances from Black Alice. If you leave her alone, it might be inconvenient for you guys, you know? She isn't as strong as Cassandra. Well, formerly, I guess. But Candy is a pretty dangerous monster. If you just leave her out in the wild like this, she's certain to cause harm to people eventually. And it's true. It's too dangerous to leave Candy alone. She is, if I recall properly, actually kind of fond of consuming humans. So, hold up in the nearby mountains, right? How about a more thorough explanation there? Okay, from this town, go east to a certain mountain. That's where the candy group is hanging out. It's the mountain of clear wind and light. So, it is with great shame that we request this of you. Please, somehow, defeat Candy and return our powers to us. Heh. <laughs> We're not particularly interested in earning your praise here. Here in this village, you do eat tra consume travelers, do you not? Alright, we pledge that we will never do that sort of thing again. 
if you return our power from candy. So, noble monsters such as us put our pride on the line when we make promises like these, so please, save us. Hmm, well, I guess that's enough. And that's how it goes. Ron, come in here. Yes, what do you need? You two will accompany these heroes. You're going to lend a hand to the candy extermination? Hey. If that is your wish, milady. So then, I shall accompany. Well. Huh. There's only one Ron to me, though. Yakimo Ron. So then, let's go. As you have heard, Candy is in the mountain to the east. Do your best, Ron. We await good news. <sighs> so, that's the story and what we gotta do. Mountain to the east, huh? It's right there, but it's kind of hard to see on the world map, isn't it? These little tiny sp sparkling specks. <laughs> anyway, this mountain should be Candy's um, operating point. If we get to the summit, that's where Alice senses a unpleasant aura. So that must be the place. There are going to be monsters from the noble women's village here. So, we guess it's good to fight them too. Q, Q, Q! You know, I tried this live once already. I got killed. Telling me it's about time for me to level up my characters. I haven't leveled them since... The end of Catalyst chapter, actually. But I'll probably do that between chapters. As long as I don't die here. Again. Oh yeah? Who are you guys? Alright. Regarding the story that Cassandra and Emily's powers were sealed into candies. We're here to retrieve them. You're here to seal my candies. I won't let you do that. Once I've eaten them, I'm going to descend on human villages and eat a bunch. Man, gross. Okay, we won't let you do that. Even if we have to fight, we're going to stop you. So, you look pretty tasty too. Hehehe. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Kyu, kyu, kyu! Yeah, she's gonna eat us. Well, I hope she doesn't. I don't like it when my characters die. I guess I one character die. Still, I'm gonna be taking some time between chapters. To between parts. Okay, I lost. Good job. So, we won't let you do those bad things. And return the power of Cassandra and Emily. Alright. It makes me hungry, so I'm not going to do bad things anymore. This is one weird monster. Her face is... insane. Okay, so this... These are the candies in which Cassandra's... Those two's power are sealed. Alright then. Energy candy. Candy... You can't eat it. What? Well, yeah, I, I know. But, uh, the one from Cassandra seems a bit eaten already. I ate more than half of it. Hey, hey, hey. What a weirdo. So, that means that Cassandra's powers won't return completely. Well, we don't mind. So, let's return to the village of noble women. Those two 
Well, we should return the candies to them. <laughs> uh, is it alright to leave Candy here? It looks like she won't be doing anything bad, but... Hmm. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Is she really alright here? Maybe she ate some kind of... Maybe she ate some candy that disagreed with her. Oh, excuse me. Since I'm so hungry, I'm seeing things. Um, great. Would you bring me the candies that I like? We can say yes or no. Okay. First, I'd like a chocolate. Yeah, I have that. Yay, it's a chocolate. Nom nom nom. Next, cake. Yeah, I have that. Ooh, cake. Nom nom nom. Next, pudding. You have no idea how much food I carry around with me, lady. Yay, it's pudding. Nom nom nom. Finally, parfait. Hmm, that one's a little more rare. But we did have one. As I recall, we got it when we defeated Saki back in Grand... Grand... Grandol. That was right. Anyway, we give it to her. Yay, parfait! Nom nom nom. Oh, I'm so full. Well, that's good. So, don't do anything bad from now on. I'm hungry. That was quick! Ah, jeez. It's hard to deal with you. She's got a hollow stomach there. Huh. Well, Alice can't exactly blame her for that, but perhaps we should, you know, watch over her. Yeah, that's probably best. Oh, will you give me the stuff to eat? In that case, I'll follow you anywhere. Um, whatever. You get to rot in the Maul castle for all I care. Huh. Jeez. Now our eating ex now our provision expenses will be added to. You're the second. You're the other major consumer in our group. Sonia thinks to herself. Hey you, I heard that. Why? Eh, okay, whatever. Alright. Cassandra, we have accomplished our tasks and returned. Oh, you've come back with my power. Yay! You guys are pretty good. So we give the energy candy over. So this is the part that had my power sealed in it. Nom nom. Hey, she's kind of cute. Yay, I'm back. And my part is, this is smaller than it should be. Isn't it true that I won't completely recover with this? She eats it anyway. Hmm, as expected. She didn't return to full power. At this... I would say I'm about at the same level as Emily. Aw, oh, Mother, you're so cute. You'd... We're like a matching pair. Hmm. It's kind of exciting, actually. And with this fresh body, eh, she kind of thinks like she can enjoy it. Hmm. Mother, shortly in Godal, the selection of a magic girl ritual will be taking place. How about we go there? That sounds interesting. Let's go, Emily. Alright, Mother. 
Um, how about thanking us? How about rewarding us? Eh? Eh? Bitches. Well, the incident is resolved, right? So, that makes the request from King Grangold completed. We should report to the king. He should give us a reward. So, after that, we get to form a contract with Salamander. She's in the Gold Volcano, to the west of the Gold Checkpoint. Uh, excuse me, but there's one more request I'd like to make. Once again, I'd like you to chase down Cassandra and Emily. They've gone to Goldal. And it seems like they're going to participate in some ritual. I will accompany you, so let's go to Godal. Oh, magic girl selection ritual, huh? Aren't you kinda interested? No. Hmm. Actually, that ritual bothers me. It's related to a power of a witch. It's not a cute thing. The previous Mao, Alice's mother, actually forbade... Forbade. Forbidded? I'm gonna go with forbade. Forbade that ritual. But still. Hopefully it won't turn somebody into something we have to do, you know, defeat. In other words, it's actually a pretty dangerous ritual. Oh, we better put a stop to it. Alright, let's go to Goldal. So, happening in Goldal, some kind of mysterious ritual. We probably shouldn't let it go. But before that, let's report to Ging Grangold. Hmm, okay then. Grand gold. There it is. Hmm. Wait. I just passed by Kitsune and Kamuro, which reminds me. There was a Kitsune Senpai lesson time here. Oh, jeez. Where was it? I think it's here. Aha. <clears throat> Kitsune Senpai, how is it that birds can fly? It's lift. Birds' wings have a certain shape to them, and when passing through the air, the air for the air pressure is able to push up. It pushes up. Uh, the air pressure pushes up on their wings. Eh? Kitsune Senpai. Kitsune Senpai, where are you? It's a matter of simple fluid dynamics. How about we talk about the Bernoulli's principle and... Save me! Kitsune Senpai, save me! Yep. Poor camera. Wait a minute. Oops. I said I was going to... Ground gold, and I went to gold doll. Anyway, so the problematic ritual should be happening soon. We need to find out who's running it. If they're going to be selecting a new magic girl, then it's probably a magic girl already. Selection of a magic girl, huh? Maybe I'll be picked, Sonia says. But it's a dangerous ritual, isn't it? Well, it's dangerous enough to people's hearts and minds that her mother forbade it. So, we should put a stop to it. It wouldn't be a... It wouldn't actually be surprising if the Mao army actually deployed someone here. 
Hmm, a dangerous ritual, huh? Yeah, we better stop it. Yeah. First things first, what I actually wanted to do. If I hadn't spaced out. You know, most of the time when I come to a castle town, I get to speak to the guy at the entrance and he'll teleport me there. But this time, no. Teleport me to the warehouse. What's that? Okay. The succubus village thing and the noble woman village thing have both been resolved. As thanks, take this holy spear. Passed down in the Grand Gold Royal Line. Longinus. Hmm, I've heard of that before. Also, this is an accessory that will allow you to equip two weapons. If you equip it on some warrior type, then you'll get an extremely good use out of it. This is a Genji Gauntlet. I actually have one of those. I got it in the... What's it called? In the Labyrinth of Chaos, in Catalyst Chapter. It was hard to get, actually. Defeating those super bosses. Well, time consuming, anyway. Okay, anyway. So, you said that you wanted to form a contract with the fire spirit Salamander. Uh, according to the legend, Salamander is in Gold, Gold Volcano, to the west of the Gold Checkpoint. But it's a pretty dangerous dungeon. Harsh, seriously. There's flowing magma on the floor and stuff. So, be sure to prepare it when you are. So I'm going to be busy with the preparations for fighting the Mao army. So, but if anything happens, we'll contact you. Hmm, okay. Now, I just tried talking to her during the trial run. She does have something interesting to say now. So, welcome to the warehouse. I mean, the royal palace. According to Alliance, my girls are, etc, etc. By the way, she happens to be searching for a extremely good quality of sweet sauce. If she would be able to taste it, she would be glad to help us out. According to Ruma, according to rumor, the mayor of Yamatai has a small amount of it kept around. If you could somehow get your hands on it. Oh, you have some. Give it, give it. Please give it. Uh, half by force. She grabs the Hermit Region sweet sauce from us. So sweet. Oh, it seems I've done something quite rude here. How unsightly. Uh, as repayment and as gratitude, I'd be glad to help you out. So, as an ally, she'll be hanging out with us. Please make good use of her power. So our name, name is Antina Ann. That's pretty cute. Like, noble and cute. Oh, this is the first I've heard of your real name. It's a pretty flashy name. Well, it's embarrassing to say myself, but... As someone who was meant to take the ant people to greater heights, her mother gave her a name which was... Well, Destined for Greatness. So let's say a great name and great expectations how about that and now the ants who actually should be below the bees during her reign has actually turned the tables hmm that's nice
Anyway. We got the briefest of introductions of what we need to do in Goldal. But, that will be all for today. So, thank you for watching, and next time we're going to handle this magical girl business. <laughs>